What's up guys, Adam here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can save thousands of dollars by learning how to do your own pest control. But before I get into all of that, if you're new to the channel or just haven't gotten a chance to do so yet, please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my new how-to and do-it-yourself videos for around your house. And if you find the information in this video to be helpful to you, then please also give it a thumbs up. Now I've been doing my own pest control for quite a while now, so I've learned a lot of the ins and outs and methods that make doing it a little bit more effective. And then of course, I've also tried a bunch of different products along the way, trying to figure out which ones work really well, which ones work better than others, maybe for targeting a specific bug or kind of bug. And of course also, which ones just really don't work at all. And I've been pleasantly surprised to find that, at least with the products that I've found to work really well, they're all really accessible. Almost all the products I'm going to show you today, you can find on Amazon.com. And if they're not there, then a lot of the times you're going to be able to find some of them at one of your local big box home improvement stores. So in this video, I'm going to show you those methods that I talked about that I use. And then, of course, I'm also going to show you the regiment, if you will, of which products I found to be most effective while treating my house. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so this first product that we're going to use is called Tal Star P. And the main ingredient in it is bifenthrin. And if you decide that you're gonna buy this particular pesticide, you're gonna see a bunch of reviews saying that you can just buy a off-brand bifenthrin pesticide that'll work just as well. I did that. That's what this is. It does not work anywhere near as good as the Tal Star P does. And this is going to be more of your shotgun pesticide. It covers a wide array of bugs that it targets. And this is what we're going to put in a, this is a one gallon garden sprayer and we'll mix it with water and all the ratios are in the instructions as to how to mix it, depending on the application that you're trying to use. So if you're targeting termites or ants or whatever it is, there's different mixture ratios for your particular application. As you're applying it, you wanna make sure that you're going up the sides of the house about three feet, and then also then out into the yard also about three feet. Make sure that you spray this underneath and around all possible points of entry for bugs. This can include windows, doors, hose bibs, any gas lines going into the house, vents, any crevice that you can see a possibility of a bug going into, go ahead and, and spray it. Now I do spray this inside as well on the floor at all of the doors. Make sure that if you're spraying this indoors at all, that you do put any pets such as dogs and cats in a different room that is not being treated. After the chemical has dried and has set for at least 30 minutes, then you can let your animals back out. It is non-toxic to them as long as the pesticide has had time to dry. And you'll be able to tell this just by looking to make sure that the area is no longer wet. This next product that we're going to use is Amdro Lawn Insect Killer. They are in granule form, and these are going to be used and spread in any rotary type fertilizer spreader that you might have that you use to put out grass seed or your weed and feed. All of the directions for this are going to be on the back side of this bag, and they're going to show you all of the different bugs that this pesticide treats and the application rate that it needs to be put down at. And for certain spreaders, some of your more popular fertilizer spreaders like Scott's, it's also gonna give you your settings to set your fertilizer spreader at so you're getting the correct application rate put down on the lawn. A good time to put this down on the ground is going to be right before a rain or if you're expecting rain in the next few hours so that it'll break down these granules into more of a liquid form and put it down into the soil so that it can do its job. So this next one I'm gonna show you is one I really like. It's one that can do a really great job of getting into those cracks and crevices and just really hard to reach areas. 
And the reason it's able to do this is because it's in powder form and it's blown into whatever it is that you're trying to fill up. And it's this product right here. This is made by Safer Brand. And you can find this at any of your big box home improvement stores around you and also online. And the main ingredient in it is diatomaceous earth. And diatomaceous earth does a really great job of targeting some specific bugs. And I use this mostly indoors, but you can use it outdoors as well. Now places you're going to be using this indoors are going to be places like beneath and behind your stove, refrigerator, under sinks, in cabinets, you can put it in your garbage cans, around any pipes and drains, window frames, and you can also use it in your attic and basement as well. Outside you're going to be putting it into things like pipes and gas lines or any cracks and crevices that you find. You can put it underneath the windows or just any voids that you're finding around the outside of your home. Now this next one we're going to use is one that you can buy on Amazon and oftentimes at one of your local home improvement stores. And it's really focused on killing cockroaches and it, I'll say that it does a really good job. Now the way that it works is it has bait that causes the cockroach to come out and when they get into that bait and they ingest it they then go back to the nest and then infect all of the rest of the cockroaches in the nest with this insecticide therefore killing the whole nest and the way that it's applied is it comes with the syringe that has the bait and insecticide already inside of it and you're going to be putting this in any places that cockroaches are known to frequent the places that I put it and the places that I know that the pest control companies put it is they put this gel in your ca kitchen cabinets especially and one of the main places they do it is when you open your kitchen cabinet door either to the left or the right where there's post they put a thin line of gel along there and they also put some of this bait back in corners of the cabinets as well. You're going to want to do this along all of your kitchen cabinets, your base cabinets, your upper cabinets, and then also make sure that you're doing it in all of your bathrooms and their cabinets in there as well as the cockroaches really like a humid type of area. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you found it to be helpful and informative and maybe it helped you make a decision on whether or not you want to try doing your own pest control and saving a bunch of money, especially in the long run. All the products that you saw in today's video are probably going to be a lot less expensive than what you're paying currently on your quarterly payments to your current pest control company. And you saw the techniques and methods that I use to apply the products. Anybody can do it, you can do it. So if you found the video to be helpful to you, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And please also consider subscribing to the channel. If you like how to's and do it yourself videos for around your home, this might just be the channel for you as I have a bunch of them coming out and I've already got a bunch done that I've done in the past. So I hope to see you in the next video.